There was one bit where Casper was eating this big old cold sausage roll whilst we were recording our lines. Oh. And he was doing his lines with a mouthful of sausage roll. And I was like, we're, what are you doing? Like, you've literally got food in your mouth and we're trying to record these lines. That was, so that, that didn't make the cut, surprisingly. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> that's so amazing. <laughs> It's a weird thing because beavers don't usually eat sausage rolls, so I wanted to I wanted <laughs> yeah, to try it out. If I remember correctly, I think it had something to do with I was meant to be gnawing on a piece of wood, and I thought instead of wood, I'm gonna eat a sausage roll. That's the method acting uh, showing through, isn't yeah. it? I always finish finish off a sausage roll. That's yeah. that's that's my number one rule in life. You Never. The last, you know, there's always that last bit of the sausage roll. It's like crust, and it's like got no no sausage meat in it. And you're like, oh, what's the, like, what's the point? Offered me that. I was like, great. I don't want that. Mm. You can finish it. You may as well have the rest of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it made it a lot easier because. When we're reacting to one another, it's just, yes, it's, it's, it makes it, rather than just, like a lot of people do, re reading it on their own, that would be more difficult. So mm. I think they helped us out with that one. Also, our characters are constantly overlapping. I became a beaver for uh, three yeah. months. I've, I love beavers since I was seven, but I became a beaver for three months for this role. It was easy to work along with Joe. He kind of just puts it on that day. You kind of come in as Joe Sugg. I Google beaver on the way into work. Yeah, whereas I'm, right, I'm already dressed up in my fur and my, uh, <laughs> I had a onesie. It's nice to work, obviously, with your friend. I feel a lot more comfortable with him rather than having, like, if I had, like, an other actor there, I would be maybe a bit worried about what they thought of my performance. Yeah. Of course, you don't worry about what I think of your performance. No! That's good. <laughs> Annoyingly, we couldn't strap a microphone to our head to actually wrestle in real life. Yeah, but we do um, like wrestling when we're, we're not making videos. Well, no, that, I don't, because you're a lot bigger than me, so I never win. <laughs> but but I, I grabbed, I remember grabbing the, um, what, what was the thing they, they had the script on the script, the thing that, the, there was a little table I had in front of me that I was holding and yeah. kind of wrestling with. Yeah. You have your lines. Mm. And you just say them a, a bunch of times till you get it right. It takes a while to warm up though and get into. It sounds weird, but to get into, you actually do have to get yeah. into character. You I drink a lot of, of water, which is great for thirst, but also it's also good for your throat. Yeah. When you're uh, warming up for a yeah, beaver yeah, yeah. roll. No, I um, and then you just yeah do your lines over and over again till you they say yeah that's the one, and then it's the next thing you know you see it all come together because you never actually get to see the the full film whilst you're recording the lines, just your certain scenes. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool to see it actually part of it. Mila Kunis straight away, I think. Um, a big been a big fan of her since since sort of day one. Mm -hmm. um, I would go so with John good. Oliver. He's really funny. Oh yeah, he's funny, yeah. isn't he? I'd like John Oliver to write my videos for me because he's obviously a genius and uh, I think uh, he would be so funny. Um, but also, just hang it, ha hang around, have him hanging around like the weird old guy in the room. I think I would take Mila Kunis on a pub crawl. Like around all the different pubs, like That'd in my cool. in like in the village or like or in, maybe in London, but maybe better back home, like all the old school That's pubs. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, not me. I don't think I've been awful. I'm a bit of a lightweight nowadays. It's the dancing. It took it out of me. I've mm. now become a big lightweight. Yeah, two One glasses gla on your two, own. Well, two glasses, yeah, probably, yeah, that'd be it. I thought Bumblebee was amazing. I know it's not animation, but maybe I could become a Transformer it is one animation. day. Oh, there's parts that are animated, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just like the fact we're sort of working our way through the animals. We've been seagulls, we've been beavers. I kind of like to, I, it'd be cool to sort of branch out and be a human, but I'm kind of enjoying the animals. Let's just, yeah. let's just work our way through the whole animal kingdom. Yeah. Any big, any big Paramount, uh, you know, animal, animal films movies. coming out, we're Maybe ready for it. Maybe even a David Attenborough documentary, we could pretend to be an animal in that. I imagine. Yeah. That, that would stir things up a little bit. <laughs> Mine is probably a beaver, uh, but second favourite is a giraffe. I think they have funny long necks. Uh, I would like to be um, a dung beetle. Dung beetle? Yeah. There should be an animated series about a dung beetle. What do dung beetles such, do? Well, that's, it's in the title of the yeah. name. It's a dung beetle. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, but what a great yeah, animation yeah. that would be. <laughs> it's a, a story about like him rolling his dung, just rolling it from one side of the desert to the other. Yeah. It's a big journey, kind of like other films like that. Yeah. That's trademark. I think David Attenborough wouldn't take on this project. No, I think he was uh, <laughs> kind. But if he did, <laughs> Sir David, please, can you uh, follow us around and <laughs> just do a vlog? Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome. It would be, be cool, cool to be uh, any kind of superhero. I think any those superhero movies, like that's like the ultimate in it. If you if you say, oh, who are you? Oh, well, I'm a super a superhero. Yeah. But like, just for like kids, this what's so cool as well about, it, especially like with films like this, is is when the young kids hear your voice and they hear it from the film. Um, that's such a, such a nice moment. Like, if you've got any like young kids yeah. in your family, to say that you and when we have kids, not yeah. like me and Casper together, but like <laughs> we have our own we kids. We could get, you know, could adopt. Maybe, but we, we, okay, when we adopt a child together, we can say, look, this is your dad, mm. Zuh, <laughs> in this film, which I think is quite the cool. Beaver dads. Yeah. The relationship between June and her mum, and that whole story about with the mum and that kind of thing, mm. it's got a real sort of 
mature edge to it as well in a sense that like, it, it tackles like real life um, problems and topics that, that you know like some kids are going through around the world. I think that's a really nice message that they put throughout it and especially like keeping the whole imagination thing alive. I love that. I love, I think that's so important for kids. Mm.